Well, we still got scattered rain showers across the area and it's bringing in some pretty nice sights for the clouds. Here's a look at our inland area. As you can see, Stanton and Ravenna with those low lying clouds, a few broken spots in there. The sun not really peeking through though, because there are a lot of high and mid level clouds and a live look over Grand Rapids. You could see more rain starting to fall and we're seeing that really fog up our camera as well. Low visibility out there. Uh, they actually just uncovered the tarp there at Comstock Park. We're just a couple of days away from opening day there for the white caps. As for white caps along the lake shore, you can see pretty breezy conditions and those waves are starting to crest over uh, crash along the pier as well. Very breezy along the lake shore and it's dropping those temperatures a little bit too. We're only at 37 in South Haven and Benton Harbor 41 in Holland a little bit warmer as you had inland 44 Grand Rapids 46 Kalamazoo in the lower 40s uh, north of I 96. Now here's a look at the area uh, in the Midwest region and the coolest air right through Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula continuing to flow into our region. This is going to dip right into Michigan going into Saturday morning and it'll finally leave our area. You can see some 40s and 50s out in the western portions of the Midwest. That'll be here for us on Sunday. So we only have one more day of the really cold air before we finally start to turn this thing around and we'll be dealing with some snow as that temperature flows in as well. The cooler air bringing with it the cooler precipitation will fall below freezing tonight. See a few flakes possible. None of it looks to be significant though for our travel impacts or accumulations. But right now a few flakes starting up near Ludington transitioning back over to snow, at least on radar. Most of it fairly light, a heavier band out through Barry County and Eaton County as well, moving out towards Lansing, but that looks to be fairly light and weakening as we go throughout the area as well. So a pretty nice situation out there. And as for our future track, the rest of the night, the northwest wind flowing in again, more and more of the cooler air, keeping us with some lake enhanced cloud cover as well throughout the system and even a little bit of lake enhancement for some snow showers going into tomorrow as well. You can see throughout the day Saturday, uh, we start to clear out in the evening hours and going into Sunday, we finally get some great sunshine out there, but going into Sunday night, more clouds return and we're tracking more and more precipitation going into the second half of next week. Here's what we can look at just going into the next uh, 12 to 14 hours or so. Not too much in terms of precipitation. Most of it should be out of our area by to late morning or early afternoon of Saturday. And then we'll finally see the sunshine going into about five, six o'clock in the evening. And that'll clear from the lake shore off to the east. Lows tonight, though, again, some of it supporting the chance for some snow as temperatures will fall below freezing. But the low lying areas in the ground won't be very cold, so it'll be struggling for any snowflakes to accumulate as we go throughout the overnight hours and into tomorrow. But nonetheless, we'll still see some fall here as we wrap up that first full week of April. You can see the winds fairly light tonight out of the northwest, but going into tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, they do get a little bit breezier, especially along the lakeshore. We could see gusts upwards of 25 miles per hour. Here's what we got for the next couple of days. We're back into the 50s Sunday, 63 degrees on Monday as well. And then going into uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a big warm up setting up for us. So here's the upper air chart, what we can expect that cooler air setting up, leaving our area very quickly and that upper air temps just rising and rising. You can see those oranges and yellows start to set up there. I think we have a chance for 70 degrees before the week is done, especially on Wednesday with some chance for even some scattered showers or some thunderstorms driving in.